Hi, in this video we talk about continuously compounding. So in previous videos we talked about compounding annually, quarterly, monthly, and now we're going to look at compounding it continuously. So moment by moment compounding. So we saw that say you're going to invest $100 into a bank account, it's better to get your money compounded quarterly than it is to get it annually. You're going to accrue more money by, uh, by accumulating uh, more uh, by compounding it quarterly. And taking this a step farther, it's better to compound the money monthly than quarterly. And it's better for you as the person investing to compound it daily compared to um, quarterly and so on. So if we take this and compound it more and more and more frequently, so that finally we're continuously compounding interest, then some math magic happens and you can take calculus if you'd like to learn more. And we can actually calculate the continuous compound interest formula as follows. So the amount that you accrue after T years, where you've invested P dollars as your principal, and the nominal interest rate is R, we can say that the amount accrued is A equals PE to the RT. And this letter E is a never ending decimal, it's about 2.7. You can look it up um, on the internet or your calculator if you want to see more decimal places there. Okay, so let's go back to the example of lending money to your sister Katara. So say that you lend her $100, for three years with a nominal interest rate of 2%. And you're going to actually compound the interest continuously. How much will she need to pay you back in three years? So we take this formula in purple here, and we're going to use P equals $100. R is 0 0.02 or 2%. And she's bought, borrowing it for three years, so T is three. We crunch this number in our calculator and we get $106 and then 18.37 cents. So we can see this is definitely more than if we just used simple interest, and it's also more than if we used compound interest, compounding it annually or quarterly. So if you are um, investing or lending money to someone, it's better for you to um, do the uh, compounding more and more frequently, ideally continuously. If you're going to be the one borrowing money, then you want to have the interest compounded as infrequently as possible.